I'm waiting for pants and uh, I'm supposed to be getting a call any minute that they're here so if this video cuts off it means I'm getting the call and my pants are ready so I figured I could use this moment to talk about rock and roll and um, you know I hear Gene Simmons says that rock and roll is dead and there's lots of back and forth on if rock and roll is really dead or not because there are young bands um, and they're cool and they're doing their thing and touring and making deals with whoever, Fender or whatever instrument company making money probably off Instagram and everything but um, I think everyone can agree that uh, it's not like it used to be now when I say it I guess there's um, a clarification to be made because lots of people have different ideas of what rock is so that must be the first um, thing we thing we dissect is uh, what are we talking about and when I talk about rock and roll, <laughs> I think about my favorite rock, which is um, Beatles, Zeppelin, Rush, Sabbath, and Kiss. I guess it's it's very like uh, late 60s and 70s based. A lot of the blues rock, some prog rock, some heavy rock, but kind of ties it all together. Um, very rooted in the blues men the delta blues and very rooted in like early rock like 50s rock and roll um and kind of the pioneer for all the rest of rock after that these to me this is the era where uh rock was making it was like a golden age like rock was making the most hits and when i compare it to now Excuse me. <coughs> Is rock dead? It is finished. The Changing Seasons single cover art is now done. I can't believe it. It's crazy. It's actually upside down. Yeah, red's on top. Whoa. Wait a minute. I guess it's my decision what's on top ultimately. Not this side. No. I kind of like that, but... Yeah, that's the way. That's the way. There it is. Um, this began as an idea because the lyric in my song is leaves of the clock are changing red. The clock of time. I guess that's what a clock is. <laughs> you would say clock of the other thing if it was for something else, but it's just a clock if it's the clock of time. Anyway, um, and that was my concept. I started with a circle and 12 leaves. And I colored in the leaves and I just thought, what next? And I had no clue what to do next. So I just started drawing and making art. And you can see the time-lapse video that I took making this whole thing but it kind of developed into a concept um, that these lost, this lost fleet of space travelers stumbles upon the clock of the universe. And they're just circling around it because they're amazed. And they don't know what to do with it. And they're just looking at it for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> kind of cool, right? I um, made the ships out of this pick. 
trace that shape. So it's kind of like a Boston vibe how the ship is a guitar related thing. Um, and you know, the other two bands I can think of that this kind of reminds me of is Journey and Electric Light Orchestra. I'd be curious to know what other bands have super cool art as their cover that this reminds you of. But yeah, I'm gonna sit here and turn on some lights and take a picture with my camera, load it in, and I'll probably have to crop out some of the sides because cover art has to be a square and this is a rectangle, but I knew that going into it. And I need to add some text that says changing seasons. I think this is cool. Uh, I do see, um, aside from the imperfections, which I love, there, I don't know if I'm crazy about this dark ring. I would have liked it more if it didn't come out so dark. The brown and the, yeah, mostly the brown. I was feeling like it was like a 70s stained glass window when I was making it, but ultimately it looked brown, but when I, that was one of the earlier things I did, so my idea was, okay, well, since that's dark, let's at least try to put a lot of light colors in now to really balance it out. I think it's actually good. There's a lot of light colors, and it works as a strong barrier of the subject. You, like my, these are my stars in the background, and these lines are just kind of rays coming out of it. Yeah, you can just see the space in the background. I like my ships. I think <laughs> they're in this world, spaceships would kind of look like that. I think that that's a, I feel like it's um, very inspired by like Star Wars and Star Trek and Battlestar Galactica. It's not quite like what any of the ships look like, but you could actually turn that into like a like a three D um, rendering of like a really cool, ovally, eggy, bubbly ship that fits one or two people. That would be cool if two people sat up front. That would be cool. I mean, what if it's like like so many of the shows we watch? It's like a one person thing and nobody can move around. I mean, what if it's the size of like an RV? You can fit like two to five people comfortably and there's like storage room and some nice beds. That would be cool. Yeah, here's the thing. I like um, how the center is just a little black hole. And it's so bright that there's no color on the very middle. Yeah, I guess it's a little messy here, but I mean, this is small. <laughs> I mean, you can see my finger for comparison. It's messy, but I was working with colored pencils and drawing really small um, designs. I mean, this is just a piece of paper and I'm not an artist. <laughs> and I was just kind of making it up as I went. But um, I love the imperfection. I love how you can, but it's still like, you can still kind of tell it's something. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with it. The color doesn't look right on the phone, which is why I'm excited to take the picture with my camera because, and edit it in post, it will look like a totally new image from what you must be seeing on this video.